Hi there, welcome to this talk about pro bono and co-curricular opportunities with Hertfordshire Law School. I'm going to talk to you about all the different opportunities to get involved in pro bono, which means free legal advice, and also in co-curricular activities, which means activities that sit alongside your academic study. We're really proud of what we have to offer you at Hertfordshire Law School, and we believe there's opportunities available for everybody studying with us. I'm going to start with talking about the Hertfordshire Law Clinic because this is something that we're extremely proud of at Hertfordshire Law School. The Law Clinic just launched in October 2019 and has been extremely busy ever since. We have, we think, about 200, over 200 uh, inquiries from potential clients since launching and we've already seen over 100 clients through our Law Clinic. Our Law Clinic is designed to help those that need legal advice but are unable to afford to do so. We provide advice and assistance in various areas. These are listed on the slide, but these are family law, employment law, landlord and tenant, intellectual property, commercial law and powers of attorney. We run two types of clinic. The first one is a clinic that involves lawyers coming in from local law firms and providing one-off legal advice in a meeting to a client. That meeting will be observed by a couple of students who will take notes and afterwards write up an attendance note on what was discussed and the legal advice that was given. So you can imagine that gives our students an excellent opportunity to see uh, legal advice being given in real life, in action. The other type of law clinic we have is a letter writing advice clinic. With the letter writing clinic, Students are supervised by practicing solicitors from within the university or from law firms. They will receive instructions that have come in by telephone. They will work with their supervisor to prepare for an interview with the client. They will then meet the client on their own, um, ask a number of questions to get all the information that they need, and then proceed to undertake legal research and write a letter of advice to that client. So again, you can see amazing opportunities there to be trained in the legal skills and then to practice the legal skills that you would need as a lawyer. Our clients come from various places. Sometimes they're referred to us by charities. Um, some people hear about us through word of mouth or through our pro bono website or through flyers and other outreach activities that we get involved in. We also at the University of Hertfordshire have a business incubator for new business ventures and that leads to a number of clients in our intellectual property and commercial law clinics. We also have a couple of satellite clinics and um, one of them is at Future Living in Hertford. We run a family Law Clinic at Future Living. This is a charity that, that, that provides support for victims of domestic abuse and provides advice on family law. So we run that clinic at Future Living once a month. We also have plans to run a similar satellite clinic at HMP The Mount once the coronavirus situation is finished. As well as our very active law clinic, we also provide lots of other pro bono opportunities for our students. So I'm going to give you some examples of those. First of all, our support at court scheme. Uh, this launched uh, in March 2020. We have trained 22 students so far to provide support at Hartford and Watford County Courts for um, people that are attending, are attending court for their first family law hearing and are not represented by lawyers. So the support at court provides um, logistical, uh, practical advice and support for those that are going through the court process. So they know what to expect, what they're going to need and how the hearing is going to run. The next thing to mention to you is our very active street law project. Street law is a legal, legal education project with an aim of demystifying the law, as it said on, says on the slides here. Students work in teams to prepare and deliver workshops on many different topics. And these workshops will be presented to um, groups of students at schools, at colleges, uh, to community groups such as um, charity groups or groups of the elderly. And we have delivered 
a num I think probably over 50 workshops already, um, 50 different types of workshops to we think probably about a thousand different people so far. And the topics have covered things like powers of attorney and what those mean, uh, employment law rights, um, sexual consent, sexting, revenge porn, stop and search, knife crime, to name but a few. Lots of different topics there. This is an excellent opportunity to um, go out and do something a bit different to practice presentation skills, but also to work in teams and to be creative in designing these interactive workshops. Another opportunity is to work with the charity shelter, which many of you would have heard of before. This involves um, being trained to be a court desk volunteer. So it means attending court along with the duty solicitor from shelter to help people who are facing eviction from their home. Court desk volunteers help individuals with the logistics, the paperwork and the process involved before they go into their court hearing. And this really enables the duty solicitor to focus her time uh, completely on being in court with clients. This gives, again, an excellent opportunity to see the law in action, but also to feel that you've really contributed to, to somebody and supported them in a, a really um, stressful situation for them. Another body that many of you would have heard of is Citizens Advice, and we have relationships with many Citizens Advice offices, offices in the local area. We um, arrange for students to go along and be uh, trained to give advice in web chats, over the phone and in person. And like all of our other opportunities, this really gives you an excellent opportunity to get hands on involved with real life situations. Some of you will have a particular interest in human rights or criminal law or studying criminal justice and criminology and may be very interested in our miscarriages of justice project, working with this body called Jengba, the Joint Enterprise Not Guilty by Association um, body. This is a, a project that researches cases where uh, people are in prison for offences which may no longer be um, imprisonable offences due to a change in the law. So you would work in teams to look at actual case studies or actual cases, sorry, to see whether there are any grounds for appeal and to report on your findings, findings to Jengaba. And the final pro bono opportunity to mention to you is the ability to be trained in adjudication by TDS, the Tenancy Deposit Scheme. This is a body that supports um, landlords and tenants reaching agreement about the return of deposits at the end of a tenancy agreement. So you will receive training in adjudication, which is another really useful hands on um, experience, but again, gives you transferable employability skills when leaving because it gives you this experience of dealing with conflict situations and helping people to reach a resolution. Moving on, on now to talk um, a bit about co-curricular activities and opportunities available to you at Hertfordshire Law School. I'm just going to mention a few, but there are others as well, and there are always new ones coming up every year. So do keep an eye on the different things that we have available. But the idea here with co-curricular activities is to give you some different experiences and um, some different opportunities to use your legal knowledge in different ways and also to get employability skills to help you with your, your job hunts in the future. First thing then for people that are interested in advocacy, uh, we have mock trials. We have a really lovely courtroom at Hertfordshire Law School, which some of you may have seen before and you can see a picture of part of it um, on the slide here. We make good use of that. Uh, we run a programme of training um, in relation to mock trials and you would learn about different topics such as bail applications or witness handling, opening and closing speeches, sentencing and pleas and mitigation and you get the opportunity to practice those skills and one way in which you could get involved in practicing skills is working in conjunction with the, the police officer training or social worker training that we um, host at our law court. So with that kind of training, we have um, police officers that, that come in that are 
involved in their, their training process. And as part of that, they get experience of being examined and cross-examined by our students. This is a, of particular interest for any of you that would like to become a barrister in the future or a solicitor involved in litigation. Another type of advocacy is mooting. Uh, this is where you get the opportunity to really get to grips with a, a legal point and make your arguments. So a mute simulates an appeal court hearing. You'd be acting for an appellant or respondent and you'd be making written and oral submissions to a judge or a panel of judges uh, with a view to trying to persuade them to your point of view. It's an amazing hands-on experience of, of being an advocate and again, a great way of practicing and developing those skills. If that's something that interests you, you get to feel what it's really like to be in a courtroom. And we also enter a number of, of national and international competitions. Family mediation. So mediation is a process um, where as a neutral person, you'd be seeking to assist parties in resolving their disputes. Um, there are different techniques that you would learn, and we do this in the context of children issues and divorce in this programme. You learn about theory and practice of mediation, and then you work with case studies and you undertake role plays. And eventually you would be looking to draft the, the document to record what has been agreed. Mediation is an, an amazing skill to learn about as a student. It is relevant in the context of family disputes, but it's also relevant in many other legal contexts as well, such as um, commercial disputes. Client interviewing, a very hands-on practical skill that we um, run as a co-curricular. The, the training will take you through the process of a, a, a client interview from start to finish so that you can conduct a really effective interview where you are being very clear to the client as to the purpose of the interview. You're asking really effective questions to get the information that you need and then you're providing practical legal advice. And we find that this is a really good co-curricular for giving students confidence to deal with situations um, and things that might arise in situations unexpectedly. Reading Law and More. This is a co-curricular, which is a, a book club for students in Hertfordshire Law School. You'll do a lot of reading as a student, um, law reports, etc. But this is an opportunity to read something that isn't part of one of your assessed modules, but reading for the enjoyment of doing so and then discussing with other people um, within the Hertfordshire Law School over coffee and cake. It's a great way to get to know other people and to, to, to discuss things that you find of common interest. Forensic psychology. This is of particular interest to our criminology and criminal justice students. This is a, a programme that takes you through the, the role of being a forensic psychologist and what a forensic psychologist might do when faced with a crime scene. It includes a talk by people that are actually in the role of forensic psychology already and introduces you to the practical skills that you would need to be able to undertake that kind of role. And the final one I'm going to mention is the Hertfordshire Law School blog for those of you that are interesting, interested in writing or um, video content for the blog. There are lots of different roles involved here, uh, collecting together content, um, contributing content that might be written content, articles um, that you want to write or that you might put together with others. Uh, it might be video contribution. You could also be responsible for managing the content of the blog uh, and dealing perhaps with the social media side of things. You might be somebody that wants to be responsible for deciding what goes into the blog as a managing editor. And you might want to be somebody that goes out and finds, finds news and interesting topics for the blog. So lots of different opportunities there for being creative and getting involved in our blog. OK. Um, those are the, the main things I wanted to mention to you. Uh, there are all sorts of different co-curricular activities that come in year after year. So we would encourage you to always keep an eye out for the, the opportunities that we have. There are so many benefits from being involved in pro bono and co-curricular activities. Some of them I've mentioned already. Ultimately, these are great things to be doing for your CV. Uh, you will 
learn, develop and practice a lot of different skills that you will need in practice. If you think about some of the things I've spoken about already, you've got um, interviewing, you've got research, um, you've got writing, presentations, advocacy, working in teams, networking, all sorts of different opportunities there. All of these, we think, also build your confidence going out into the workplace. You try things that you might not have tried otherwise. You push yourself outside your comfort zone and you get these real world experiences. You also get the opportunity to work with others. So that's people within the law schools, um, within your own uh, modules and degree subjects and, and programmes, but also those that are at different years, in different years to you or doing uh, different courses. It also means that you get to meet solicitors, barristers, judges, other members of academic staff. So it really improves your, your networking opportunities there. And ultimately, in, in the case of pro bono, it gives you the opportunity to give something back to the community because what you are doing is providing free legal advice and support for those that might not otherwise get it. Thank you very much for listening and I hope that there was something there of interest to you. Uh, for more information, you can have a look at the University of Hertfordshire website. If you search pro bono, you'll find a bit more information about our pro bono and co-curricular activities. Thank you for listening.